If you got to play, listen, if you got to play zone, I told y'all, zone is for the week. It applies in 2K. Zone is for the week. Hey guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents from my daddy. Check this out, man. I already know it's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you without a dope beat. The step two, step two, step two, step two, and step two. Yeah, that's just too close to the source material, man. They gonna give me a step. Anyway, listen, man. I know I've been gone for a little bit. The reason that I've been gone for a little bit is because we've been grinding on the t-shirt business, man. Let me tell y'all a quick story about what happened, man. So, um, I had a machine, a DTF 1000. This machine was so arduous and just so so stressful to deal with and we had order orders like we had no small orders we know we getting 20 30 t-shirts at a time this thing is taking an hour to print two or three prints so it's like taking forever for me to just get stuff done so sometimes people will order seven prints and man it would take me like five six hours to do it just because the printer was so difficult to deal with that thing stressed me all the way out, man. I, I had an episode, like a bad episode, like my blood sugar went through the roof. And so, you know, they got it back down and everything like that. They got me on the, uh, all the correct medications and everything like that. And they think that it was just brought on by stress or what have you. So, you know, I'll probably be off of that pretty soon. But I still got my monitor thing, man. So I got to make sure, you know what I'm talking about? That ain't nothing to play with, man. Because, you know, you know, it's, it's just like Wu-Tang Clan. Ain't nothing, to, ain't nothing to mess with because, you know, you don't want to have, you don't want to have it because now it, it might go super low or it might go super high and then it never goes super high it just might go super low and like you know you get cranky and you get mad and just mad at the world you want to fight a dog it don't matter what it is it's not you know what i'm saying it'd be like it doesn't matter what you think you just want to fight everybody if you know you know if you have uh blood sugar issues then you know that when your blood sugar drop you're just not the most pleasant person to be around but other than that man i am actually really good um I was at, what, 240 when that happened. I've been working out. I've been doing a lot of stuff, man. I done, I done got lean on them. I ain't, I, you know, I got down, I'm down to about 215 now. I can almost fly again on the court. Everything is looking good, man, because, you know, I figured they always say, you know, eat right exercise. You know, you got to lose some weight. I didn't, I was like, bro, I don't have no weight to lose, man. I ain't got nothing to lose. But, as you know, I still worked on it and did what they asked me to do. And so I'm, I'm feeling a lot better. I'm probably going to go back up to 240. But for right now, um... I'm just complying with what the doctor says, man. And, and, and from now on, we got insurance for a reason. My guys out there, listen to me. My guys out there, anytime something happens to you, man, you feel funny, you feel anything, please go to the doctor. Your wife's going to thank me. Your girlfriend's going to thank me. All this stuff, man. Because I've walked around for a week with my blood sugar through the roof. And it's just like, it just, it just wasn't a good look. And it could have been very bad. So please, if you feel anything, Please go to the doctor. And also, please go over here to the Breeze Tees side and get your tees in the Breeze when you're rocking with Breeze Tees, man. We got all this type of stuff, man. Y'all already know we still got the goat status, goat status, go, goat status, go. But my babe, my favorite right now, man, is the Bear Jordan, man. Go on over there and check out the Bear Jordan. Uh, we got it in hoodies, everything, man. You can get this joint on anything. And I mean, look at the case. This is the Bear Jordan, man. Hey, we got a lot of stuff over there, man. Also, if you need, and see, I made this. I make all the designs. We got a lot of designs to put up there. We're going to put some team-specific designs and stuff up there also man if you uh do dtf print so if you do you got your own t-shirt business please hit me up um link is in the description and you can email us and we can get you your prints uh sorry about that with the mic get you your prints as soon as uh as soon as we can man and with all that out of the way yes sir what's going on everybody it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk of the people's town coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out, man. Hit that like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. We need them likes, man. If y'all want other videos, man, I ain't got nothing but water here. Water. Got that. I got, I, I've been drinking nothing but water, man. I've learned how to drink water. I've learned how to eat bland foods. I've learned how to do, I pretty much just went back to, you know, them three, them two, them four years when I was just on a plant-based diet, man. And uh, I'm, I'm feeling really good, man. But anyway, are y'all feeling good? Because the guys out there are asking this question right here. My boy, Extra Nut, No Diddy. It's a No Diddy. And got a bad. It up. Hey, they said, like the boy said, it's just hilarious. The boy said, Diddy been saying, take that, take that for years, man. And we had no idea what was going Anyway, allegedly, anyway, Extra Nut says, why do you still play or not play 2K? I still play 2K because the game is fun to me, man. Um, I have a ton of fun. I play with my guys. It's just like fellowshipping and, and, and camaraderie. It was the same reason we played Call of Duty or any community-style game for years, man. We just play it because 
it's it's just fun to be with the people man and if y'all want to play man y'all hit me up in the comment section man you know when brute's not on i might have to get on after he gets off because i don't i don't stop work till five o'clock so i might have to play then but we're gonna find a way for all of us to play man and uh and get it in man and hit that hit the link in the description head to the stream and uh you know how at your boy man so hey but a lot of other people are saying all city big hex says that i'm always i'm always play i'll always play at some capacity i'm a life i'm a lifer uh and that's true i'm a lifer too that being said i've i've been much more casual because it feels it feels like more of the same but more expensive i can definitely dig that uh less quality of life more microtransactions same cut and paste event format definitely is with that extra nut says hey i get that wholeheartedly don't mind the game but it costs too much to get started playing uh i wish microtransactions would see man you know that's never gonna happen because we we chose that and we chose that road and that's why we're going down it but there are those people that spend the money to make them stay and that's right man like we said like my guy nunu man he don't mind us saying bro he said hey man i'm not i don't have time uh he was a network engineer or something like that at the time man or you know he had a lot of work nunu work all the time man he said bro i work too much i don't have the time to put into the game like that i'm still good at the game but i don't have the time to put into the game like that so i'm not gonna put the time in i'm just gonna pay and it is what it is man that's how i go we're gonna read one more with uh paula paula he just says uh paula geo he just says um i had i had a lot of fun playing 2k not really worth the time anymore unlike most i don't blame 2k i, I just think that I just think they just run this course for me. I can dig that. Hey, one person, uh, Ron, Ryan Kaufman says the servers are cheap. I hate the I hate the slight input delay. Once they address the city, I thought they made the game worse. And then uh, the extra that just says, hey, the first rooting, the first uh, first rooting for the mass. <laughs> wow. <laughs> after the cast, mass after the cast. Second, I get the input delay aspect. Uh, makes the game makes it not fun when you feel you can you can control your you can't control your player and then third he says they need to make the game they need to make the game difficult you can be productive you can be a productive score with minimal stick skill yes you can and i uh, have to make hey, you have to make people get better and that's something that we keep saying man but ain't nobody trying to get better man most people are saying that they, we're, i'm not trying to get better this is a video game we've heard people literally say hey bro i think i should hit shots if i'm wide open i should just hit the shot i shouldn't even have to time it so they tried to make the game more difficult this year and youtubers and social media people cried about it and that's why the game is not more difficult uh we have ourselves to blame for that what they mean is we want to make the game more difficult for everybody what they mean is and i don't mean us i mean them we want to make the game more difficult for everybody except for the point guard we want this to still be a point guard driven game where the point guard does everything and nobody else is capable of doing anything offensively and then uh once we do that once we do that we want to uh let the point guard just run the game control the game and all of that and uh never have to pass the ball but we're gonna talk about that in one second man up next hey we got that boy we got that boy um splash saying <laughs> dog <laughs> all right look man let me we just, we just go get right into it man let's just let's just watch the video young precise talk to him how you say he just good man Tray ball, yup. Hey man, that's crazy. Uh, uh, cross, uh, spank, uh, uh, step back, uh. Come here, bring it to me. Come here, tray ball, trays up, splash down. Bang. Is he? Is that Victor Hella Depot? Is that Victor Hella Depot? Like he said, like what Young know, Precise just saying, he's just good at the game, man. He's just one of them. He's just he. He's just a beast at dribbling, bro. He's a beast. And you see, he's doing the same dribble dribble combination and shoots the ball, and it's a red contest, and the ball still goes in right there, man. Like I said, man, this cheating thing is getting out of hand, but it's been happening, man. Like, like the people, like, why do you think, look, if you want to know who's cheating, bro, look to the guys that were asking so hard to have uh, pure green windows. Look, just let's, you just got to go back and find the videos. They're on YouTube. They were asking so hard for pure green windows, and, um, 
and and to slow down all the shot timers, change up all, all the 57 million shot timers or what have you. Those guys are the ones that we are in this situation. It's probably your favorite content creator. So nobody's going to try to put them on the hook, but that's exactly what was happening, bro. People just didn't, and then, then you got people complaining about the dunk meter, like the dunk meter too small. But if you play the game the right way, that dunk, that dunk meter is enormous and it ain't nothing you can do about it. Cause if you got to play an ISO ball, Bruh, that, that dunk meter, like, look at Joe Nose. He ain't had no problem with the dunk meter. The only way you're going to have a problem with the dunk meter is if you're, like, going, like, if you're going there, something like that. If somebody's down there when you go up, you're not dunking on them. It just is what it is. They already have position. But if they're running to try to get position, you can get them, man. But last but not least, hey, we're going to talk about this right here with All City Big Heck, man. And uh, this is uh, this is uh, Michael uh True Hall of Fame Bills, man. He just says that, look, we're going to read it first and then we'll go from there. He said, what do y'all say 2K family is the zone or crutch for the week? Yeah, I'm going to tell you right now, the zone is a crutch for a week. We run zone because the people that we play with can't play defense. Like, they have the distinct inability to play defense. They can't even hold a guy in the corner. Yes, it's a crutch defense. It's always been that. But it relies on, well, we, we're going to talk about what it relies on in a second, man. But, hey, uh, he just says, hey, this is the entire this is the entire facts. When I see, when I, when I see you, uh, fake comp dudes in zone, I laugh immediately because you can't play defense, and that's a fact. Got the nerve to say to say you done with the 90s, but all they want to do now is, is zone because they can't guard nobody. Hey, it is what it is, man. Right. Hey, we gonna go with this right here. Let's just let's just hit it up, man, and see what my my guy gotta say about this right here. Listen, start it off, Chuck. Because these NBA players are so dumb. The zone defense is the easiest, am I right? It's the easiest defense in the world to play against. Yeah, it is the easiest defense in the world to play against. And uh, all you got to do is move the ball. I can't, I can't have that up there because I ain't trying to catch a strike or nothing like that. So it is what it is. So he said the ball moves faster than any human being. All you got to do is move the basketball or what have you like that. So that's it. All right, so boom, now my man going to start talking. Let's listen to what he got to say. If you gotta play, listen. If you gotta play zone, I told y'all, zone is for the weak. It applies in 2K. Zone is for the weak. When I see that dude's playing zone, it's because you can't guard your man. Guard your man. You can't guard your man because you made a point guard who got no defense. You gotta go hide in the corner. Play defense and guard your man. It's for the weak, y'all bums. Nice. Right, so he says zone is for the weak, and you know if you play, yeah, we 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 play zone because people are weak um the thing is he's i think he missed the most important part of what charles was saying though man what chuck said was it frustrates him because people don't know how to beat the zone you beat the zone by moving the basketball so if you know like what we we start let's start with like when, when you're working out a problem you start with what you with what with what you know what is apparent and then you take it from there and so uh what is apparent is and i don't even know what gameplay this is but this 2k this last year 2k gameplay I, I, I don't even know if that's this 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 gotta be last year's 2k gameplay or something like that because this this is uh but yeah that's my 16 whatever it ain't even 2k it's 2k 2023 20, gameplay but anyway um start with you know duh you just said it. the point guard don't have any defense so we know the point guard doesn't have any defense so why aren't you passing the ball to that guy's uh guy and attacking him like you have to pass the basketball this twofold so if they're playing something and you know this a crutch defense and you know that they can't really play defense then why are you playing to their strength it's just like the lakers last night the lakers last night they uh the denver nuggets packed it in for the last three games and they just playing zone and daring you to shoot the basketball but instead of instead of shooting the basketball the lakers have decided to um just try to drive in and keep going inside instead of just moving the ball and finding the open shot and which results in Denver getting very easy stops. They're getting stops with not even really having to do anything because they're not really playing. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. They're not even really playing much defense out there. They're just relying on the Lakers to miss shots. Once they miss shots, Denver's in transition. The Lakers got the worst, literally statistically the worst transition defense in the entirety of the league. And thus they give up a, a transition shot. And you add to that, Michael Porter Jr. was on fire last night, man. He was just abusing people. He realized he was 6'10". Something clicked in his head. He's on a revenge tour for both for both of his uh for his kinfolk, man. And and that's what you turn into, man. So it just is what it is. But the onus is not on the defense. The defense comes out in a set 
to try to, to see what's going to try to stop something. The onus is not on the defense to allow, to allow it to be easy on the offense. The onus is on the offense to figure out what the defense is doing and to force the defense out of what they're doing, which is very easy in 2K. See, in real life, it's not that easy because everybody can't, not everybody can shoot threes. In 2K, if you can't shoot threes, you chose not to be able to shoot threes. So I'm not gonna, if I know you can't shoot threes, I'm not gonna make it easy on you. Somebody come out in two, three zone, man. All you gotta do is put two guys deep hash and put your uh, put your point guard deep middle. And then you pass it to the hash one, and, and pass it back to the point guard, pass it to the other side deep hash. Inevitably, what will happen is you're gonna get two on one backside. And when you pass it to that hash, he either needs to take the shot or kick it to the corner. But y'all came out here with dudes that can't shoot and you wanna blame other people for that. What you have to do in situations like this is think beyond what's actually going on or what you see on the screen. You can't blame other people for doing something that is working for them. You have to make it not work for them. Just like if somebody wants to play five out, they play five out against us. Obviously now we can't play zone if the point guard is competent. If the point guard is a point guard that doesn't want to pass the ball and you play five out, yeah, we can keep playing zone. But if he's a somebody that's going to dot people and, and see the open guy and as soon as you try to step down to help, he's hitting you in the corner and them guys hitting the shot, we can't play zone. We got to come out of that. We got to come, we got to play, uh, we have to play man to man. And now you force those guys to come and play man to man whereas normally they would have tried to play zone but that is on y'all that's on y'all for making guys that can't shoot and uh not having confidence in your shot though and all that so instead of blaming somebody else just do something about it i wish somebody would come out there and play a zone against us they do it all the time when we have our when we have and sometimes it does work because we don't have the shooters because again if we got to play zone that means we don't have the team that we normally play with which which means guess what we just don't have the best guys out there and that's fine so sometimes the zone is going to work, but most of the time it shouldn't. 99%, 98% uh, of the people in the two that play two, like, look, you see that right there? Pass the ball early. That's all you got to do. That's it. Like, I don't want to hear people complain about having to pass the ball. You're probably a point guard. You want to dribble the ball all the time. Just pass the ball. If you're passing the ball like Chuck said, because you missed the part, you just completely ignored the part that Chuck said, and then you want to just take what you took from it. Yes, it's a weak, it's a weak defense and it's a crutch, but it shouldn't be, it's nobody should be allowed to play it because in this game, everybody can shoot threes. You just stretch the floor. That's all you gotta do. We shoot people out of the zone. What happened to that? But again, if you made a guy that can't shoot, you made a center that can't shoot, I'm gonna look at his stats before the game and tell my center to count paint and make him, you know what I'm saying? Make him make something. He's gonna have to come out of the paint. He's gonna have to set some screens. He got to do something. So. Again, the onus is on the offense to force the defense to do something different. The defense is gonna do what, what, what it can do until it works. The onus is on the offense to force the defense to do something else. But y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. Make sure y'all slide by Breeze Tees, get your tees in the breeze when you're rocking with Breeze Tees, man. Your zone defense is weak, but guess what? We're gonna keep playing it until you shoot us out of it, man. It just is what it is. And then even when you do that, we're gonna modify it and try to cope with what you're doing. And if we just can't do it, then guess what? Then we'll go ahead and come out of it. But you got to force us out of it, bro. It just is what I'm not going to come out of it because you said I'm weak and you asked me to. That's just like me saying, that's like somebody saying, shoot, you're a network engineer because you can't work out here in the field. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm not, I, I don't want to be though. Like yeah, you, you you ain't street enough to be, to be, you know, be that. That's why you're a network engineer because you ain't got no heart. You're dang right. Because I ain't, I, ain't, I, I, I don't, I don't want to be no rud man. I don't want to be no street dude. I don't want to be none of that. I just want to be comfortable here in my house. Chilling. Boy, I said chilling. <laughs> That's what I want, man. But hey, it is what it is, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Love each and every last one of y'all. Now, holla at y'all next time. Till next time, hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button. It's your boy, Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Guys, please.